So I visited Lowe's Home Improvement Store yesterday, and they already had their seeds out, so I'm always just thrilled to see that. And so I thought it would be a good time to just share a 10 of my favorite seeds that I grow every year. I think one of these I grow about every three years, but most of them you will always find in my garden tours, and I'll leave a link to my videos of my garden tours for 2016 up here for you. So the first thing that was at the Home Improvement Store were Super Sugar Snap Peas. I love this pea. I did a complete video for you on how to grow it. The price was great, and so I really needed some more. My seeds had already expired their storage life. Make sure whenever you buy your seeds, there should be a date on there, and then you can kind of... Um, estimate if your seeds aren't coming up they probably are getting old so you know we have just a short window of opportunity to plant our seeds so always try to use seeds that are good okay or pre-sprout them in your house or something and test the germination before you get out there in the garden so the second one of course is the spinach last year I bought this pack at Walmart and it did fine and then this year they had it at Lowe's also so I picked up a couple more packs because I plant this all the time. I do succession planting with this, and it is just a beautiful spinach. Um, I was so impressed to see how well it performed under the snow that we had in January. So I showed y'all a video on that, but um, I am still harvesting it. It's still doing great and just having a really good time with all the spinach. It was kind of a test for me. I threw out a lot of seeds in the fall, and now I'm going to enjoy it all winter and spring. Now, I've been growing red basil since 2008, and I just love this basil. I love the color of it. The flavor is great, too, and it's just really nice as a contrasting color in a container garden against the green basils that I grow, too. Um, I picked that up as, at Lowe's, and of course, the scallions or evergreen bunching onions. Be careful with your onion seeds. Sometimes they will not last too long. So I love that little onion. And then my favorite cabbage to grow is this Napa cabbage. It's a Chinese cabbage, and I grow this every year. I usually try to grow at least six heads of cabbage. And so there is nothing better than going produce shopping in your garden. So take your big bag out there, pull your head of cabbage. As long as you're succession planting, you'll just have to pull one. You can cook it or eat it fresh, just like that, okay? And my favorite little edible flower to grow, I've been growing this since 2008 as well, is the nasturtium. And I have really expanded my varieties that I grow. I'll try to share those with you in an upcoming video. But I love how they just glow in the sun. They're edible. And they're just a beautiful little thing to put, especially in containers, but you can put them right in your garden beds too. And this I have grown only about two times before. I grew it again last year and had wonderful results. This little red pepper has the most wonderful flavor. And of course, when you grow your peppers in your garden, you can wait until they are just beautifully ripe. The same results were the previous year as well in 2015. So um, this will be a keeper for me. This will be my sweet pepper that I grow. I got these seeds from Baker Creek. And um, they also come in a yellow variety, but I have not grown that one before. So just love this little pepper. And dill. Dill is just a wonderful flavor. I don't oftentimes use the dill weed. Of course, I will early in the spring before it's had a chance to go to flower. But when you can go out to your garden and pull a flower head of dill and then just snip off the little flowers there, you'll have that wonderful dill pollen flavor. And this is something that you can't buy. But as gardeners, sometimes we just have an advantage when we can go out into our yard and pick something like this. And it's just wonderful. And then jade bush beans. When I first started gardening, I think I planted jade bush beans. I also planted what's called blue lake. And... Oh my, what a difference. The jade bush bean far outperformed in flavor and how it grew. Very resistant to a lot of different diseases. And like I said, the flavor, the, it's pot, the pod on it is so sweet. So it's a nice pod, very small seeds on the inside. And I grow this every year. As a matter of fact, one year I did not plant it and I did not realize how much I'd miss it. So always on the garden menu. I succession plant it too, just to make sure I have it. To the right, I planted those first. To the left, I planted those about two weeks later. 
Okay, and then cilantro. I showed you how to grow this. And, of course, I always love to have cilantro fresh in my garden. So that's always on the garden menu as well. So this is a leaf Chinese cabbage. And if you just put your seeds out early in the spring, it will grow and be ready to harvest in about, I think it's 45 days. I've had these seeds forever, and they have just really done very well. So... Um, I wanted just to point this out to you if y'all wanted to try something new. This is not one of my, this is a secondary top favorite. <laughs> so it's kind of like a bonus footage here. <laughs> but um, I just did want to point this out because I'm ordering some more of these seeds this year. I used up my last bit of these seeds la last year and I got to looking at the package and they were dated from 2009. So this was last year's planting. So uh, I guess seven years seed life for that particular seed. And then I'd like to just show you how I get these in the garden. So these seeds right here, I direct sow these as soon as I can. So usually the last week in February, first week in March, they will pop up when they're ready as soon as that soil temperature gets to going pretty good. These other ones um, are seeds that I will start indoors. And I did a video for you on how I start seeds indoors. The peppers, I will, I will start two rounds of those indoors. I always like to have a backup for um, specialty type of vegetables that I grow. I want to make sure I have them. So I do two plantings. I'll do one early here in the spring. And I'll do another one probably towards the end of March. But I want to have two um, plantings of those, okay? And then finally, when the, after the frost date, I will direct sow these other ones into the garden. So I do not do a lot of, you know, indoor sowing of seeds. I've really tried to just direct sow whenever I can. And then I also wanted just to point out a couple of other seed packets, another couple of bonuses here. I couldn't decide on the basil I wanted to show you for my favorite. So these other two um, are great as well. And I've been growing those, um, the Siam Queen Thai basil for a long time. I grew that back in, two, I started growing it in 2009, I think. And then this other one I started growing last year, but I was real impressed with it. So that's a really nice basil that I'm, I'll be trying out again this year. And then I wanted to also let you know that you probably did not see carrots in my top 10 favor. And that's because um, I haven't really decided on a carrot that I'm in love with yet. I've been buying all kinds of different color mixes of seeds for carrots and I've been pretty disappointed in most of them because I rarely get the purples and the burgundy carrots. <laughs> I seem like I always get whites and the light yellows and the oranges and I really want those really deep colors and so um, I don't have one to recommend at this point. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know by giving me a big thumbs up if you did and feel free to share on your favorite social media. I sure would appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching and y'all have a beautiful day.